South Africa is a, is a great place to, to be from. Uh, it's not so great of a place to live anymore because of crime and corruption, things like that. But it's, it's really one of the most beautiful countries in the world. And I grew up in a suburb of Johannesburg called Rudaport. Um, in fact, the church building I went to for uh, 12 years of my life was where the Johannesburg MTC is. And so, I, you know, I grew up and I'd always see the missionaries, you know, going to the Johannesburg MTC. And I mean, they're just across the parking lot from us. And, and I'd be at the church twice a week for like mutual or church and things like that. So I'd always see the missionaries. And sometimes they'd even come out and play basketball with us every now and again. Uh, we were kind of volunteer, um, volunteer teachees, I guess, in the MTC for a while. I did that once or twice. So South Africa is a great place. What I love about it is the, the diversity. You know, Utah is not the most diverse place in the world, but South Africa, you know, is, there's mountains, there's plains, there's beaches, best beaches in the world. Um, and so it's just a very diverse place. There's always something to do there. And the people are, the people are <laughs> funny as anything. You know, you, you see movies about South Africans, you read articles about South Africans, and most of the time it's pretty dang accurate, man. We're a wild bunch. And so <laughs> I was about nine or ten or something like that, and we were, we were driving through kind of like the wilderness of South Africa, and we saw, you know, a herd of rhinos that were, were crossing the road, and my mom, she breaks out her video camera. You know, this is kind of cool. It's not every day you see a bunch of rhinos. She's filming. And then all of a sudden, like when you're watching the video, you just hear my mom yell to my dad, Brenton, drive! And you just see the car speeding away, you know, the camera's all shaky, and it turns back, and there's this rhino just charging our car. <laughs> so we're just like, whoa, what's going on? And so it, and it was a tiny car, too, so it would have absolutely crumpled us if uh, it had actually hit us. But we, we managed to get away. I mean, most people don't realize how big it is. You know, people think of Africa, and they're like, Oh, you know, grass huts and savannas, wild animals run everywhere, things like that. It's not entirely true. The city I grew up in has 12 million people in it. You know, that's, you know, about the same size as New York City. It's not a small place. And so there's a lot of city in South Africa. It's pretty, it's pretty westernized. You know, we got high rises, we got public transport. It's not very good, but we got public transport, roads and cars and things like that. And people are like, do you ever find like wild animals in your backyard and stuff like that? I was like, no, I grew up in the suburbs, probably just like you did. So, um, difference is we had giant walls and guard dogs, but you know, life in the suburbs is the same as it would be anywhere, I'd imagine. There's a good number of members there. Some of the strongest members of the church live in South Africa, from what I've seen. Um, just good people trying to genuinely do the right thing. I mean, I remember my dad was. Uh, on the high council and he was put over a brand new branch and as soon as he got there the branch president comes to him and he's like oh brother Salveson I we can't do this anymore and my dad's like well what are you talking about and it's like we just don't have the time to home teach every week and my dad's like whoa wait a minute every week <laughs> it's like calm down it's just once a month and they're like, oh, that's so much better <laughs> once a month. We've been, home, we've been doing 100% every week and it's just killing us. And dad's like, no, it's okay. Once a month is okay. And so it's, that just shows, you know, these, these people are so dedicated to, to what they believe is true. And it's, it's so great to see that. So.